In this video, I want to talk about muzzle training your dog. And you have to understand that the muzzle training for your dog is not something you're going to only do when you have a dog that's aggressive, but there's something in it for most any dog. And that's what we want to address today. If the dog is going to be examined and gets nervous or has any other apprehension to it, your vet might muzzle the dog. It's also a good thing for your dog to understand because if your dog is being evacuated or something, the people evacuating your dog may require a muzzle. So in either case, it's a really good idea for you to teach your dog how to be comfortable with a muzzle because it's gonna be important for their own safety. The muzzle is not necessarily a bad thing. It can be a good thing. Um, and today I just wanna talk about, first of all, the different kind of muzzles, why you're gonna to wanna to wear a muzzle, how to adjust them to your dog's face, the right sizes the, and the right uses. Remember, one of the most common muzzles anybody is gonna use in a vet's office is going to be this kind of a muzzle, which is basically a cloth muzzle. And this muzzle, this is an adjustable one, but they'll have ones that are basically one size and it's gonna fit on the dog's snout and that's it. And what, what it does really, it prevents the dog's mouth from opening. So you'll see here that when I put this, Platz Goofy, Platz, okay. When I put this on Goofy's mouth, he can't open his mouth to bite. It doesn't prevent the closing, it prevents the opening. So it doesn't require that much strength because even a little bit of strength will keep the dog's mouth from opening up. Something really important to notice is right now it's not even that warm out and Goofy is panting excessively. When you close the dog's mouth, you take away the dog's ability to pant. So it's really important that you consider that if a dog is panting or is stressed or is hot. If the dog can't pant, the dog can get it can go into shock, the dog can overheat, and many other things. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the different muzzles that might be better. So this is your basic cloth muzzle, and you have your basic basket muzzle. These are the two I'm gonna really address. There's a plastic one, and then there's these, these PVC ones, which I really, really like. These are from a company called Jafco Muzzles. These are the Baskerville muzzles, which are also very good. These are a harder muzzle, and they're usually used for dogs that have bite issues. Another good thing that you're gonna to wanna to consider is how to get this to fit on your dog. So let's talk about that for a second. I'm gonna actually address these muzzles first, the basket style muzzles, because they're gonna be much more common. And they're gonna be safer for a dog if the dog has to be outside, if you have to walk your dog, if you have some kind of a restriction on your dog and the dog's required to wear a muzzle. The bigger size muzzle is not always better, right? Now you can see that Goofy is actually fine with a muzzle, but if your dog wasn't fine with a muzzle, I would do something like have a piece of treat, give it to him, and then show the dog the muzzle, have him touch it a little bit, give him another piece of treat, show him that it's a good thing. Don't ever just take a muzzle and push it onto your dog and have them wear it, because that's gonna be a disaster. So once your dog is kind of okay with the muzzle, then what you're going to wanna do is make sure he's okay with it, maybe drop a treat inside the muzzle. It's right here. Good, there he goes. So that's a good way to get him to stick his nose into the muzzle, is take a treat, drop it into the muzzle, and he puts his head all the way in and gets it. So again, these muzzles, just like the basket muzzles, the dog can drink through it and can even take treats through it. So you'll see that, just for an example, I'm gonna put this muzzle on Goofy here, and you can see he can still open his mouth to a certain degree, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna here, and I'm gonna give him a treat through the front of the muzzle. Now you'll notice here, this restricts Goofy's mouth from opening too much, and it's actually hard for him to chew. So if I take this off, it's a lot better. The bigger muzzles, these PVC type muzzles, allow the dog to completely chew, but it's a little bit harder to give the dog a treat through it. But I'm gonna have here, I'm gonna stick it in there, and come on, Goofy. Oops, it fell out, I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna put it back in here, and we'll say, hey, good boy. Now, you would think this is the muzzle I'm gonna use on Goofy, but it's not. And I'm gonna show you why, because Goofy Platz, when I put it on him, come here, good Platz. Right here, you're gonna see that this muzzle pushes against his eyes and makes him uncomfortable. So this muzzle is too big for Goofy. Instead, you'll see that this muzzle is a better size because it doesn't interfere with his eyes or anything like that, but I don't like this muzzle as much because it's restricting the opening of his mouth, which is gonna be a little bit problematic, especially if the dog starts to pant. This muzzle here is the perfect size this is the size three. So when I put it on Goofy, he can still open and close his mouth a little bit. Good, here. And I can attach it behind his neck. Now, 
One danger with a muzzle is if it's too loose on the dog, you're gonna see here that the dog can pull out of this and you still have a risk of biting. So you don't want to do that. In the beginning, when you first put the muzzle onto the dog, what you're gonna to want to do is put the muzzle on and just let him have it on and take it off. So if you have the dog going back and forth like this, taking the muzzle on and taking it off, he understands he's gonna get the muzzle off. And when it comes off, he's gonna get a treat. Always, always, always teach your dog that putting a muzzle on is a good thing and a real easy way to get your dog to understand that is to take a little piece of kibble, drop it inside and give it to your dog. So for the first time now, I'm gonna actually buckle the muzzle and you're gonna see that, Goofy, come here. And I'm gonna make it quite snug, come here. Good. And that's gonna be all the way to here. Now, if it's the right size muzzle, you're not gonna have an issue because it's holding the pressure here and there's no way this can come off. Right now, this is a properly sized muzzle. I cannot get two fingers in here, barely, right? I can get one in. But he's inside the muzzle, his, his nose is not being smashed in, he can still open his mouth and breathe, and the muzzle, the, the back of the muzzle is not affecting his eyes. It's not pushing against his eyes here because that would make him uncomfortable. When you first put the muzzle on the dog, put it on the dog, give the dog a lot of praise, good boy, and then take the muzzle back off and give the dog some freedom give him a bunch of treats so he knows whenever that muzzle comes off, he's gonna get some treats, he's gonna get some praise, and it doesn't have to be on for a long time. Initially, when you put a muzzle on a dog, make sure to condition the dog to the muzzle. I hope you enjoyed this muzzle training video. If you did, check out my website at robertcabral.com and subscribe to this channel.